Hi everyone, this is the first video of my smartwatch project. Here is the prototype platform with LCD, control buttons and STM32 development board. You can check the details on my webpage. I am planning to use a 1.5 inch LCD, however here I have a little bigger one for testing, so I am not using some of the area below here. I have prepared a performance test sketch, there are 15 pages. I can navigate from the buttons here. We see the first page now, an empty page. The watch is disabled and screensaver animation is also disabled. As you see here, we see near to a thousand frames per second. In other words, running one loop or one step takes around one millisecond. Now we enabled the watch as a text view. I have a font data embedded in the code. Each pixel data is taken from the font array and displayed on the screen when the minute or hour is changed. This is draw on update mode. You see FPS drops out a little when the data is sent to LCD. In this third page, Everything is same except we update the screen continuously in each step. You see FPS is very low now. That's because drawing a text with a font is a heavy task for CPU. You will see why we need this continuous drawing mode later. To overcome the slowness, I have developed some alternative display techniques. Here, the segments of the numbers are shown with lines. Instead of a text, we draw lines when the time is changed. And now we disabled the lines, but filled a color inside of the segments. This is a fast and nice looking watch now. Here we draw both lines and the inside of the segments. Until here, we updated the screen when the time is changed. Now again, we draw lines and the segments continuously in each step. This is at least twice faster than displaying a text with some font. Also, we notice here the FPS is dependent on how many segments is drawn on the screen. This is one step further display technique. There is smooth transition animations when the numbers are changing. FPS is affected during the transition animation. Alternatively, you can draw only inside of the segments again. Here we show both lines and the inside. It's a little harder task for the CPU. Now we draw both lines and the inside with smooth transitions and continuously in each step. We again have a better FPS value relative to displaying a text. It's around 85 now. Okay, now we enable the screensaver. This is a particle system. Actually, this is snow animation with 30 particles. I have implemented my own particle system inside. It works great so far. This is a basic usage of screensavers. And we use continuous drawing mode, otherwise particles would replace the segment's pixels. We have a little FPS dropout, but a nice looking short snow animation. To push the limits, here we use the maximum number of particles available. It still refreshes the screen without any lag. Actually, view on the screen with naked eye is better than what's shown on the camera now. And in the next page, one of my favorite, we have 50 particles for stars animation. It seems nice now. And the last one, 
it's again to see the limits we have 255 particles which is the maximum we can have fps is also at a nice level without any lag or slowness and this was the last one i'm planning to create menus and other parts very soon thanks for watching